Hello and welcome to my channel. Looking at some great responses for recruitment dashboard, I am here with another dashboard. This one is learning dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard is quite dynamic. If we want to see how many people have completed email writing skill course, we can click on this slicer over here and the number changes. 23 people have completed the course. Cost spent was 115000 rupees. Total hours spent on this training was 46 hours and participants rating was 3.7. Let's see how do we make this dashboard. First, we look at the data set. I have attached the data set for all of you to practice. Course detail sheet has unique course ID, name, cost per person, duration of training. Next is training details. This would be a master file to capture employee details and which trainings have been completed. Example. Joyce Byers has completed email writing course, so ID of that is mentioned. His score was 80 and he rated this training 5 on 5. It is also possible that Joyce Byers has completed another course. In some cases, we may see employees who have started the course but did not complete the same. Like Nancy Wheeler here started email writing course but did not complete the course. This helps in calculating training dropout percentage. Let us create a new sheet and name it as dashboard. I will create one more sheet where we can have all the pivot table and calculations. Let's rename it as working sheet. We start with creating a pivot table to understand how many employees have completed different courses. Let's put course ID to rows and employee name to values. Now it becomes difficult to understand which course is A20678. To have course name mentioned here, we need to understand how to merge two or multiple pivot tables in Excel. First, we need to create a connection between our data set. Go to data. In data tools, you will find a relationship icon. Click on relationship, click on new, select course details as one of the table and related table as training details. Now in both the tables, we have unique ID, which is course ID. That becomes our connection that connects both the tables in course ID. So we select in column as well as related column. Click on OK. Here you can see now that the connection is active. We click on close now. After creating connection, we need to create a new pivot table. Go to data again. We need to bring data not from the individual tables, but from the existing connection that we just created. So click on existing connection. Go to tables, select tables and workbook data model. It is a pivot table that we want to create and on this sheet. So let's click on OK. Now you can see both the tables here. Let me bring in course name to rows and employee name to values. Notice how both of these are coming from different tables. Now we need to figure out how many employees have completed the course. At this point in time, it shows how many users registered or started the course. So let's put completed in filter and select yes. Let us also create a column chart. Go to insert, recommend, chart, column chart. We can change the design, format it a little. Give a title to this chart and then we can copy it on our dashboard sheet. And here we can do some formatting.
that's it for this video if you find my video helpful please show support by liking commenting and subscribing i may not be able to revert to every comment but it sure does encourages me to make more videos like this let me know which other dashboards would you want to see next after we complete the learning dashboard till then stay safe keep learning and bye bye for now